What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Queen Studios Venom Life Size Bust. Now, this bad boy is going up for pre-order on October 20th, so we're two days away. We do not have price yet, so I can't comment on that, but I can tell you what I think it should be. Uh, limited to 576, uh, so decently low edition size, 80 centimeters tall, 59 wide, 60 deep. I wish they'd also include inches, uh, just because I'm still more familiar with inches, you know, being in the U.S. So this is not a movie piece or technically like a true to comic piece. It's more or less, uh, it's an artist series, so it's just their concept of Venom. Uh, although they said it uh, is recreated from, I guess, this particular comic. So it's their concept from a comic. Uh, so this is crafted from polystone and resin. And they said rather than have the base separate from the bust, Venom's symbiotic form is merged into the base, representing how Venom bonds and merges with his host. The symb symbiote skin is jet black with its renowned white and corrupted spiral insignia pasted on his chest in a bone white. His teeth are on show and a tentacle-like plasma shooting from his torso creating a collectible that is out of this world. Uh, so this is not available in the U.S., meaning they don't have the license to do this. So that means you can't order this directly from Queen Studios or Cinem uh, Elite Creature Collectibles. If you want to order this, you have to go through a third party like William Wang, Spec Fiction, but let's go ahead and check out the photos. So check that out. Now I do like this. So for the most part, most Venoms I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't like the look. However, I do like the look of this one. I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, the tongue looks great. Good color, has some saliva on it. I would like a little bit more. The teeth look a little bit small for my liking. They do have teeth everywhere, sort of like a shark. However, I wouldn't mind them slightly bigger. The eyes look pretty good, but I think, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe they need to stand out slightly more. Maybe be slightly bigger or more prominent white. But there is the overall look. So I do like the fact they included like the black tentacle type things right there you see all throughout. The base is okay. It's nothing to brag home about. Just has a Venom logo and black. You can see the spider. So I mean it looks pretty darn good. See the back part. The back looks pretty cool. So he's looking to the side, which means you'll have to angle this, you know, a little bit differently. Now you can see it does have that right there. Check that out. You know, just like the Sideshow one, the Sideshow one has that as well, where you can see like the goo from the mouth, the drips, although they don't have a ton, just a few. I think Sideshow has more. There's the Venom logo, which I do like, and I think that does look good. Although I could honestly have something like that just printed out. So it is quite big at 80 centimeters tall. Let's do a quick inch check on that, though. So that is a little over 31 inches tall. Now let's uh, compare it to Sideshow's bust. Now Sideshow's is 27 and a half, so it is taller than Sideshow. And it's more, it shows more of the spider, uh, like more chest area. Look, you can, his spider is cut right here. And then you just have this tall base where you look at Queen Studios, you can see more of the spider. And it's also quite a bit deeper at 60 centimeters. But it is taller. Is it better? Eh, that's a hard one to say. I mean... I don't care for Sideshow's base too much, but I think I like Sideshow's face better. Plus, I don't know, maybe Sideshow has better textured skin. I really like Sideshow's eyes, especially in person. They're really impressive. Sideshow's is a lot more simpler, I will say that. 
you know, where Queen, they add a lot to it, which I do like. I don't know, Queen's, it is good for sure. I don't know if I like it better though. It is definitely a lower edition size because Sideshow is just a limited edition. So there's probably thousands. We don't even know. I would need to see the price for this though. That is what is going to, you know, really be a deciding factor. <clears throat> so based off what I'm seeing, you know, now let's look at Sideshow's price. $1,200, and this was created years ago with no edition size. You know, it is shipping now, too. Sideshow does have a perfect Venom head, though. I love Sideshow's head. I think it is definitely better than Queen's. Uh, the teeth and just the overall look looks more Venom-y to me. This almost looks like some, I don't know, like a dog or something. So, I do like Queen's. I don't think it's necessarily a better head. However, I do think it has a better, probably, body because of the tentacles and a better base. So, I think if it's priced at less than $1,500, then it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good buy. But you also have to consider shipping cost is going to be quite pricey. You know, because you're going to have to use someone like Spec Fiction. He'll have to import via boat. So economy shipping will be at least 300 And if you're going to do Express, you're probably looking at 650 or more. So it's going to be probably over $2,000 with shipping, which is a lot. You know, where Sideshow is $1,200 plus tax and shipping. You know, so probably get Sideshow for under $1,400. And it's shipping right now. You don't have to wait what will likely be a two-year wait for Queen Studios. So, for me personally, I still think Sideshow is the better buy. Uh, I think Sideshow head just looks better for me personally. It has less teeth for sure. But I just like the eyes better and the overall look. looks. It, it has that perfect Venom look, which I really like. Plus, there's definitely a lot of detail in that body. You know, you look at that, that thing is just killer. I do like Queen, the fact they had those, uh, like, tentacle things, which are really cool. Plus, you can see the entire spider. I like the big Venom logo. So, I do like all that. You know, and I might even just add a Venom logo to mine. I could just add one, prop it right there on the base. That'd be easy. So... Yeah, I mean, it's up to you ultimately. I still like my uh, Sideshow Venom. I don't plan to sell it and get Queen by any means. Uh, I'm very happy with mine, and it has that perfect Venom look, which I really like. So definitely my still favorite Venom bust, but Queen did do a great job. Although I do feel like their teeth is just a tiny bit too small. I think if I was to change anything, I would increase the size of the teeth slightly. And make the eyes more prominent like this one. You see how the eyes really stick out? On theirs, it kind of blends in with everything else. So you almost can't even see it. Just make it a little bit bigger, a little bit more prominent. Make the teeth slightly bigger. And then it would be a better bust, for sure. Anyways, folks, that's my opinion. What do you guys think of Queen's Venom bust? Uh, do you think it's a good, uh, better than Sideshow? Do you think better just to buy Sideshow since it's available right now? I mean, Sideshow definitely probably will have worst resale value because there is no number. You know, where Queen is, is less than 600 which is real nice. So, Queen did do a good job overall, but I don't think it's uh, overall top shy. So, Sideshow's portrait just is better for me. Anyways, that is it. Uh, if you guys are looking to purchase any statues, please use the links below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And have a great day. See you guys next time.